What's up YouTube? My name is Alex with Mojave Repeater. And today we have something to share with you that I am very excited about. This is something that we've been working on for quite some time. And it's something that I've been interested in since I was first introduced to high terror radios when I started Mojave Repeater back in 2021. Um, so what we have developed is called HiTac. HiTac is a TAC plugin and integration for Hytera radios. So let's talk about it. So first and foremost, what is ATAC? So for those of you who don't know, ATAC is the Android Team Awareness Kit. It's a free application available on the Google Play Store for Android phones. There's also an iOS component called ITAC, which isn't quite as good. Um, but it allows you to work collaboratively with teams to boost situational awareness um, through sharing locations, drawing geometries, markers, and chat over any network. There are many different ways to interconnect TAC devices, such as Wi-Fi, uh, TAC servers, you know, other military radios and things like that. But up until now, DMR has not been one of them. I was first introduced to TAC in a military context through my service in the Marine Corps. Um, and it's something that the TAC developers have continued to develop for a civilian application and purpose, whether it's rescue or disaster relief situations. So before we jump into a discussion about HiTAC, what it is and how it works, I wanna first introduce the HiTERA digital radios, which makes this integration possible and dispel some myths about digital comms in general. So for, first and foremost, all HiTERA digital radios and most digital radios that you'll find on the market operate on both analog and digital modes. There's always an analog fallback component to them. Now, what is the difference exactly between analog and digital radio? Um, in analog modes, you have AM and FM modulation schemes. And for most two-way handheld radios, you're going to find that they are more than or more often than not FM modulated. These are analog modulation schemes. In digital modes, we use digital modulation schemes, which instead of using you know, an infinite range of values to encode a message, it maps key properties or characteristics of the wave to zeros and ones. Now, just because a radio is digital, that does not mean that it requires the internet to operate. You can use digitals, digital radios in direct or point-to-point -point mode you know, between any two radios, just like you could use analog radios. Um, I think this myth gets perpetuated by the trunked systems that we have in the US, that law enforcement leverage, which are all interconnected over some internet or backhaul or fiber, uh, but that does not mean that you need this sort of infrastructure in order to make digital radios work. The frequency bands available in Hytera radios are the common and popular VHF and UHF bands. So in the VHF range, 136 to 174 megahertz, and in the UHF range, about 400 to 512 megahertz, depending on which model that you choose. Now, Hytera radios are single band only, uh, which is a point I like to make with customers, you know, a lot of people are seeking a one size fits all solution or a do it all radio, but realistically, a single band radio is going to be more finely tuned for the frequency that it can operate on. And thus, you're going to achieve better ranges, better audio quality. Um, it's just going to be an overall better experience because that transmission coming out of that radio is going to be nice and clean and it's going to be able to travel much longer distances. So Hytera radios are single band only. Uh, they generally operate at a one watt low power setting or a five watt high power setting. And this is pretty common amongst most handheld radios. It's basically what you'll find across the whole market. Hytera radios are generally, uh, at least the ones that I recommend, IP67 or IP68 rated for water resistance, which means that you can truly use them in any environment. You know, if you're outside and it's raining or you take a dunk in the pool, it's not going to affect the functionality of the radio. Um, they're also durable, you know, rugged enough for outdoor use. And so I wear mine on my kit. I have no problems, you know, running drills, getting on the ground, etc. They're good to go for a hard use environment. 
In terms of battery life on the Hytera radios between the HP 682 and 782, you can expect about 20 to 24 hours of battery life, which is a fair bit. Um, nowadays, I'm liking the HP 782 quite a lot, um, and I pair that with the uh, BP 3003, I believe it is, extended battery. Um, and so that'll give me an additional about four hours of battery life. Um, and then I'll just carry multiples of those in my kit uh, or fanny pack, just because if I'm operating for extended periods of time, it'll be nice to swap batteries instead of putting it back on a charger. Now, one of the advantages of digital modes that you do not get with analog is true privacy through encryption. So this is going to require the proper licensing from the FCC, but just to dispel some myths and rumors, encryption is not illegal. It just requires the right class of licensing, which is FCC part 90 licensing. And it's something that my business can help your organization out with. Now encryption gives you true privacy on your digital channels. Um, on analog modes, you have things like scramblers, voice inversion, which is something that can be immediately reversed by any listener and it doesn't require a key to reverse it. Whereas with encrypted modes, since we're talking about zeros and ones from before, um, digital modes allow you to generate a key which can only be shared amongst your party of individuals um, and only people with that key can decrypt the encrypted communications. There are different strengths of encryption, but just know that AES-256 is the gold standard. And that is what comes in the Hytera radios if you opt for the optional advanced encryption feature on the radios. And finally, we have to talk about the GPS and Bluetooth feature, which is an optional package of features uh, that comes in certain model Hytera radios. The GPS gives you the ability to uh, determine your own location, so a lat latitude and longitude, which you can send over the radio to any other radio in your network. And the Bluetooth is the important factor for our HiTAC plugin, which we'll talk about in a second. But the Bluetooth is what enables us to pair the radio to our phone. Um, you could also pair it to audio devices, so if you wanted to have a set of Bluetooth headphones for listening to your radio, maybe in a covert manner or something like that, you can use the Bluetooth functionality for that. But this is what allows us to pair the radio to our phone and thus send data, send and receive data through the ATAC application with the HiTAC plugin. All right, so let's dive into the HiTAC plugin itself. So what is HiTAC? It is a plugin for the ATAC program, which allows you to interconnect your HiTerra radio via Bluetooth to your phone in order to number one, manipulate the radio, but number two, to send and receive data. And that's what's gonna be critically important here. Um, as far as manipulating the radio is concerned, HiTAC allows you to map binding keys or the side keys on the radio to any functionality. So whether that be changing the power output on the radio, maybe selecting covert mode or something else of your choosing, you can bind a key on the HiTAC plugin to that functionality on the radio. It also gives you the ability to hit a push to talk key in ATAC, which would key up your radio to be able to talk uh, and use audio. Um, now, just because the plugin is paired over Bluetooth to uh, the radio and that radio is sending and receiving data does not mean that you can't use voice. You can still use your favorite communication enabled headset and push to talk or any other audio accessories with the radio, or even just hold it up to your face and push to talk as you normally would. Um, the HiTAC plugin allows for you to be able to do both voice and data at the same time. Now, HiTAC functions exactly as any other DMR talk group would. It's direct, so point to point between any two radios. It does not require any advanced, complicated, or expensive intermediary devices like a repeater or a tax server. It will work in direct mode between any two radios. Uh, and all you have to do is be in the same talk group. And then you'll be able to see each other's locations, send each other markers and chats, etc. So HiTAC is totally off grid, no internet required to operate. Although right now HiTAC pairs to the phone via Bluetooth connection, we're actively developing a method to 
communicate with the radio over a wired interface. So what this means is that we'll be able to eliminate the wireless connection to the radio altogether and just sends data from the USB-C output on the phone directly to the radio over the wire. That would significantly improve your signature management in a contested environment, for example. As far as practical applications for this plugin, we think it's really great for fire or search and rescue organizations, for emergency preparedness or disaster relief, for security organizations like executive protection services, um, or even just Milsim and Airsoft. This plugin would give you an absolutely unfair advantage on the Airsoft battlefield. And I can't understate the importance of having this degree of situational awareness and coordination abilities for your own personal preparedness and for your family during disaster scenarios, you know, such as the horrible uh, weather events that we've experienced in the recent times um, or whatever that may be. This will truly improve your own personal preparedness to a degree that we haven't seen before in personal communications. The HiTech plugin will be available on our website this coming week at mojaverepeater.com. So please go check it out um, just to learn more about the application. And if you're interested in enterprise licensing for your organization, which would include things like training services and then priority for developing new uh, features and integrations for the plugin, then please give us an email at sales at mojaverepeater.com and we'd be happy to service your request. As always, I wanna thank you guys for staying tuned to the channel. Um, and for watching this video, you can give us a like and a follow on Instagram at mojave.repeater. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.